When you have installed and activated your copy of Navigation Planner, the first time you open it, you will see this very simple world chart and the menu along the top of the window here. So the next thing we need to do is to install our Navionics chart. So to do this, insert it in a suitable slot in your laptop, or if you're using a PC perhaps, use a card reader. For any chart after around 2011, you don't need the blue Navionics card reader, any card reader will do. So we go along the top of the menu here, select chart and select open chart. And here we can see our Navionics chart in the reader here in drive D. And it's actually already been saved to the hard drive here, C. And if we look here, we do have the opportunity to copy another chart to the hard drive if we wish. But here, these are the charts on the hard drive and we can choose to load either the sonar charts if we have them or the navigation chart. So let's load the navigation chart. And you can see this particular chart, which is the Navionics 46XG, is made of a large number of smaller charts. And the charts run from beyond the Netherlands to the middle of the Thames, down the south coast, just round Land's End, Western Europe, the Azores, and then through the Western Med up to Corsica. So it's a very wide coverage and useful chart for those of us who like to sail south. Now in moving the chart, three main tools are these. This one for dragging, very useful, and these for zooming in and zooming out. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. I'll just zoom in now to around the Isle of Wight. One thing to consider with these charts is that Navionics charts are actually vector charts. And this is a chart made up of a large number of layers. And being a vector chart, the text that you see is adjusted to suit the level of magnification. So it's always roughly the same size. That's not like a raster chart, which is a copy of a paper chart, where the text gets larger and smaller depending on the level of magnification you're using. In this case, we can zoom right in. And if we look at that word Gosport, it remains roughly the same. Let's just zoom out slightly here. And if we go to chart properties, we can actually see here and select any of the particular layers we want or don't wish to use. But in this particular case, let's look at the depth areas and contours details. And this is very useful in that it gives us the opportunity to set a safety contour. So let's have a look at, say, for example, three meters. And if you look at the level around here, as it's applied, you'll see the effect that it has. The other tools that you have here are measurement. And here you can get to distances and bearings. So for example, we are here east of the Nab Tower, somewhere around here off Selsey Bill. We can see the bearing is 122 degrees and it calculates the reciprocal and the distance is 7.9 nautical miles. We can choose to leave the line on the chart or take it off when we've made our measurement. We also have the option of moving to a specified position. So if we have a latitude and longitude that we know we just key them in here and click OK and it will uh, take us to that point. Now let's have a look at sonar charts. Providing that you have a Navionics Plus chart, 
an update chart or a platinum chart, you will have this information on your chart. You can access it through here, open chart and load sonar charts. As you can see, I've already done that. And this gives much more information on depth and it's information that's being increased day by day with more and more detail. But if we look here, south of St Catharines, you can see there are a vast number of quite deep holes which were of particular interest to fishermen. So it's possible to study these, decide where you might like to fish. Let's put a mark, use our mark, add mark, say there. We'll call it fish one. Okay. Then we zoom out. You can see it's there just south of St Catharines. And if we revert to the navigation chart, we can see that that mark is, uh, is, firm, is clearly shown. These marks you can save to your disk and load them back from the disk as and when you need them. Please see our other videos for details on creating routes and the effect of tides.